Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Control. We just arrived in the quarry where we're going to pick up a prison so they can resume HRA production to fend off the hiss. But let's just appreciate how beautiful this is. How otherworldly and impossible and stunningly gorgeous the view overhead in the quarry is. And even better yet, we've now unlocked a little shortcut. Not a huge one by any stretch, but it will help us out. The quarry is not huge, which is all the more impressive that it's so striking and so gorgeous. So what do we see here? Well, we see explosives lining the whole wall. I think that fully charged headshot may have been a little excessive. Oops. Did I catch that? No, I, it blew up on me. It almost hit him with the buddy of his friend. Uh, and I do cherish any ability that I get in a game to beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker. It's one of gaming's simple joys. <laughs> I'd really love to get to that cluster. And for the battery to not die, that low battery level, it's a strange omen. Because sometimes it means, no, you need to charge this right now or I will give up and go to sleep. Uh, and sometimes it means that you have like an hour to fool around with. They are really protecting that cluster well. I'm just gonna dash over and through and finish this thing off so they don't heal. Uh, these enemies are particularly difficult to deal with when they have a cluster supporting them it just takes so much work in the first place to get those shields down so you can actually chip away at their health. You don't really want them healing. Plus, their shields come back so quickly. The screaming is horrifying. Uh, but other than that... As long as you reserve some energy for some dashes, they aren't too scary in the middle of a fight. They do complicate things, though. Especially if you're unprepared. That's why mixing them in is so fun. Uh, so now, we need three batteries. One was graciously provided in the middle of that fight, and then there are a bunch around. They aren't... Um... Well, they are in fixed locations. There are just a number of them. Uh, so there are more batteries than you actually need. So it should never be too hard to find one. This isn't like a, an adventure gamey style item hunt puzzle. We do need to get this one under control though. You can see even to the left, there are plenty of surplus batteries. And Jessie, knowing her way around a controlled demolition, is gonna... I forgot that music was here? That's concerning. Anyway, we're gonna blow this up. Fuck whom. No big deal. The charges were pre-placed for us, so we didn't really have to apply any kind of demolitions expertise. We just hit the button and get a prism as our reward. And there it is, right where you led me. The HRAs, the prisms, they mean something to you. I need to get this prism to Marshall before it's too late. HRAs, then Dylan. So now we got brand new problems. That one's even cutting us off. It's cutting a little close, too. 
So ideally, we want to get back to that shortcut. Oh, and the bright floodlights here actually have an interesting effect on this, like, series of elevated concentric circles in that it makes this place a little extra disorienting, especially when you're having to run from rain clouds. Oh, and it's not helping that we can't get up that. Any of these square ones, though, we should be fine with. This is not. Eh, a little dicey. Okay, cool. So on the right, 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 right there. And we're at the home stretch. Still a little bit more to go through with them. But we can juke to the left. They're gonna spawn a few hiss in, but now is the time for hauling ass. And hauling every ass at that. You know? Hmm. I might be Boo Boo the Fool here. Because I did just pass a control point. I don't know if it would have let me fast travel from it or even use it in the middle of combat, which which evidently still hasn't ended based on the music. But I could have at least checked. Because uh, the next control point over is... Oh, God. I don't feel like walking to it. And the music has ended now. So, this will be an easy series of falls. See, we got to do this the right way and the fun way in this LP. An air dash resets uh, the threshold for fall damage, as it were. So, Marshall did say she would meet us back here. Had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it? She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate 6, codenamed P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had talents far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him. We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother. I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Nothing simple here. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? I need to see Dylan. I need to know. I wish you could tell me what you know, explain things. 
Stay with me, okay? I could use a friend right now. So Polaris is also bonded with Dylan. And that leaves us off to the containment sector, which houses the Federal Bureau of Control's Panopticon. And I think that they have a Panopticon here. Uh, just reaffirms my theory that Robert Smirk was the architect of this building. Uh, and it follows his principles of balance so perfectly that it houses each entity. With the eye obviously being associated with the Panopticon. Wait, wait, is the oldest house, um... Oh, uh, um, Millbank? Millbank Prison? Holy shit, Control really is Magnus. Maybe we'll find out uh, Dylan's power is that he's the archivist. And a very, very spooky dude forced him to recite uh, a chant that made some good cows very sad. If we're reframing this game as the Magnus Archive... Containment sector. Hmm... Juan. Panopticon. Altered item. Maximum security prison. Dangerous. Yeah, so the gist is the Panopticon is a maximum security lockdown facility for the most dangerous of altered items in uh, the Bureau's possession. So anyway, if we're reframing this as Magnus Archives, I got this thought together now. I wonder if you can make the argument at this point in the game that Polaris is the hunt and that Jesse is an avatar of the hunt. <laughs> More than once I thought she must secretly be of the hunt, but there was never that sick joy in her, that thrill of predator and prey. She had simply decided that this was her position in life and went about it with a practicality that even I found disconcerting at times. It's either that or she's been deeply marked by the lonely. Also, I appreciate that you are all as ride or die on this Magnus Archives train as I am at this point, um, because I've decided to just go Full bore with it. There's going to be an enormous portion of you who are just like, what the fuck is he talking about every time in this LP? I do not understand. Go listen to the Magnus Archives. Also, I can never remember whether or not the title is plural. <laughs> Archive or Archives. You know, they could have made C's feel really bad if you had to stand still while casting it. Uh, but yeah, I'm never ever gonna stop on my Magnus Archives bullshit. Just go listen to it if you want context or to know what I am talking about. Because I'm not really spoiling anything. But I will continue just to throw out the red meat fan service for the other Magnus Archives fans among you, <laughs> among us. Uh, it's my whole jam, and as of the date that this episode of Control is being recorded, the fifth and I think final season come out in just over a week. So we're going to find out uh, the thrilling conclusion of what happened to those good cows. And I don't think it's going to be good. <laughs> I suspect some cows will be unhappy. 
after that comes out on April 2nd. Oh my god, it's gonna be such a banger. Much like Control, which we are currently playing. Oh my god, it's also good. The other thing that makes Seize really handy is that it acts as a heal for your newly uh, allied uh, soldiers. If it left them at the same health that you seized them at, it would be a real bummer because they would just get picked off immediately. Okay, so I'm not sure this is the direction I want to head just yet deeper into security. Though we will take whatever mod or material is in here. Here's the aimed fire boost. Did I misread that? I do believe I did. Um, but also, I... God, the mods are just very, very boring. So I do not check them that much. That explosion was way bigger than expected. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you running? This guy was not right in front of me, right up in my face. I probably would have seized that one on low health. Oh, good, 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 good. And give ourselves a little cover while we seize. Yeah! I actually totally forgot we have the upgrade now where we can just toss low health enemies, so we should be doing that way more. That was a mercy kill. Some more, some more uh, Cold War era flavor. Someone needs help over there. Oh yeah. Sounds like there's a man down. Yeah, someone does need help. And now they- wait- oh, didn't close the door. Now they'll get it. I'm here. What happened to you? I uh, got in a little scrap. Name's Horowitz. I- oh, ah! Uh. Is he gonna be okay? Don't look at me like that. I'm fine. But Wells is still in there. You gotta get him out. Who's Wells? My squad mate. We were hunting a runaway altered item. We followed it down into the clocks. The clocks? A threshold. The Bureau sealed it up years back because of all the clocks. We, w we followed the altered item inside, but the way it was acting, we weren't ready. Me and Wells were the only ones to make it to the motel court. He was right behind me, but he never showed up on this side. I'll go find him. But first, you need to get to a medic. Oh, Wells is the medic. Please, you gotta get him out of there. I'll be fine. Really. Rook can patch me up later. Fine. But I'll be back for you. I <laughs> damn well hope so. <laughs> Just use the motel cord there. It should get you into the clocks. Sorry. The threshold. And back we are. Now, about those clocks. So. I 
I think that's going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.